Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm so thrilled to have my friend Matthew Jordan Smith here with me again. Um, he's a phenomenal photographer. You've, you've known his name, I'm sure, uh, because he's he's prolific. He's a he's a he's an author. He's a photographer, a fashion photographer. He's photographed all the big names you can think of, really. Uh, he's based out of Los Angeles, and but he's been working on personal projects for the last couple of years now, uh, and it's phenomenal because. Um, his focus has shifted from fashion to kids and you know it's to be honest with you that in itself says something <laughs> about you man uh welcome to the show thanks for joining thank me you. today thank you thank it's, you it's funny because uh there's there's a lot in common with with shooting uh um celebrity fashion and kids you think so? uh, you say so well I, tell us how <laughs> tell us how you can't leave us hanging like that i want to know how you come up with that it's funny because I think the secret to getting great images of kids and the secret to getting great images of celebrities is to shoot fast. They both have a very short attention span. Right. You, you can't let them um, get lost in their own thoughts or you lose them forever. So you have to shoot fast. With a celebrity, you don't normally get a lot of time. Right. And that's has trained me actually to photograph kids. I use exactly the same technique. That's fantastic. Let's jump right into it. Uh, you have successfully funded your first Kickstarter campaign and a, a book has come out of it. And it's about really photographing kids all across the United States, all 50 states. Absolutely. Um, and really getting their input on what their dreams are, what they'd like to be, um, perhaps the future president of the United States. Uh, that in itself is just so incredibly emotional to me, for me, because it's, it, it says that, that, yes, it is possible. It doesn't matter where you're from. If you, if you sort of follow the path of hard work and dream big, you're going to make it. You may not make it as a president, but you're going to make it big. Uh, what is your take on the the book project how did it go for you tell us a little bit about the book project keep and i guess sort of get us up to speed well it's funny it's it, it's been uh my life the last three years now it's mm -hmm. it's funny how it's consumed me but yes uh like a little over two years ago i funded my first kickstarter to to finish making the book so i i Put out the first Kickstarter. Had no idea what Kickstarter was at the time, but uh, one of the fathers of the parents told me to try it, and I did. And thank God I did because it helped me finish the book. Without that, we would not have a book. Uh, the first year, I, I funded the book on my own until I ran out of money, basically. And then I ran a Kickstarter halfway through the book right. to raise money to finish the book. So this year, the book finally came out. Uh, I'm really happy about that. But it's it's a big process in making a book. The the first Kickstarter almost three years ago was to finish making the book, to to fund going around the country and making it. But after that, there's still a big process of printing the book, editing the book, shipping the book overseas from where it's printed to here. It's a big expense. Um, and the first books came out, and they've done fairly well, and those books have almost sold out. It wasn't a big printing, number one. Uh, because this is self-printing for the most part. Sure. So I had some celebrities come to me and say, Matthew, this project is so amazing, but it needs a big kick. So four women got together. Uh, the actress Angela Bassett, uh, actress Nicole A. Parker, a TV producer named Felicia D. Henderson, and a doctor, Dr. Grimes. Those four women came together and hosted a party two weeks ago. Uh, to celebrate the book and to launch a new version of the book. So the new version is a way to make the book special for every family in America. Right now, the book includes 100 or kids from 100 different families all over the country and, and every different ethnic background, religion, gender you can think of. But uh, it's personal for those 100 families because they're in it. It's the right. entire country. Right. And I think everybody would feel great about seeing the book for sure because it's America. Uh, but to make it personal, it's even stronger. So we had this idea of really making it personal for every family in America. And to do that, we launched a party last two, two weeks ago mm -hmm. in Hollywood. And the idea is to launch a Kickstarter 
where any family in the country or actually in the world can put their child on the cover of the book and make a special edition version of the book. So now that's running right now on Kickstarter. If you go to futureamericanpresident.com, it takes you right to the page and you can just take a picture of your child, upload it to us, and we take that picture and turn it into the front and back cover of the book, giving you a very personal version of Future American President. What do you think uh, that is going to mean for that child? Oh, my God. So imagine, you know, being five years old and we are affected by everything we see in life. But imagine being five years old and seeing a book that says Future American President and it has your picture on the cover. And you grow up with that book all your life. It's not just a book at that point. It's an inspirational piece that motivates you. Um, I call the book Future American President. But it's really, I'm using the word president as a metaphor for greatness. Sure. Because that's what it's about. It's inspiring kids to be great and the dream big. That's the entire premise of this project. As a matter of fact, yesterday we launched a social media campaign. And I got a bunch of celebrities again, uh, Tyra Banks, um, Vanessa Williams, uh, Angela Bassett and her husband, Courtney Vance, um, Adrian Maloof from uh, um, Hollywood Housewives. We all launched a campaign online called the I Can Campaign. And each day we're putting pictures of kids online with a poster that says, I can be a future American president. Awesome. And, uh Today's the second day, so it's, 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 if you go online, you'll start seeing those pictures everywhere on my page and on Tyra's page and Vanessa Williams' page uh, and others. Sure. So I'm inviting anybody else to, to join us in that campaign. But the idea is just to inspire greatness around the world. The technology behind uh, making it possible for you to uh, have a personalized copy of your book uh, is that something that's uh, somewhat of a secret or is it is that fairly well known and, and it's available to all? Because I, I can't imagine that it's inexpensive to be able to do. It's not wow. inexpensive. No, yeah. it's, it's not. It's uh, it's it's we researched it for a while okay. and uh, I experimented with it last year. We did 12 copies. We, we did we did uh, copies for 12 different people last mm -hmm. year to experiment, worked out all the kinks and now it's I mean, anybody can do it, really. You just got to, you know, find the venue and uh, and work out the kinks because it takes a, a bit to figure it all out. Uh, but once you do, it's it's magic. So now we've worked out the kinks. We've got it done, but we still need to raise money to print the books. So we have a Kickstarter now to raise money to print this new version of the book. Um, it's been going two weeks now. It's not doing that well so far, but we have two weeks left. And as I, as I remember from a couple of years ago, anything happens in the last two weeks. Yeah, so now we want to push it really hard right. and let everybody know. It's just getting the awareness out. If people find out about it, then they're excited about it. Right, absolutely. Um, but it's uh, simple. Yeah, um, and, and I'm happy and thrilled to be one to promote it as well because I think it's a very worthwhile uh, effort on your part. Then that's the, that's the size of the book. It's huge. That's, yeah, it's big. It's 10 by 10. 10 by 10, you're right. 10 by 10. Fantastic. So, Right now, the book. So actually, let me just be clear. It's it's the book cover wrap. So the book has a cover wrap around it, and we'll replace the picture of the child who's on the cover now, front and the back, with your child's picture or a child that's close to you. Say, you know, I, I don't have kids of my own, but uh, I have nephews and nieces, so I can buy a book for my nephew or my niece or a child that's close to me, and and that's a way to inspire them forever. Right. And it's a great. It's a great holiday gift because our push right now is to get these done right. in time for the holidays. So by Christmas, you have this book in your hand. Absolutely. Well, count me in for two copies, sir. Because oh, I have beautiful. Two, I have two boys. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds so, good. I, if I know what will happen if I bought only one. So, <laughs> so uh, I look forward to buying two. Um, thank you. Thank one you. One last thing. I know you'd mentioned about promoting this um, and you definitely have – uh, great connections to celebrities because of your work in the past. Uh, but you have recently started a podcast. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the podcast and what oh, does yes. it mean to have a podcast? What does it mean to you have to have a podcast of your own? It's, it's, it's funny because I, I just fell into the world of podcasts in this year. I think in January I started listening to podcasts. And, you know, in, in L.A. you drive a lot. You, you drive so much 
being yeah. uh, in Los Angeles. And because of that, I, I get tired of listening to the radio. I found podcasts and I love them. And as I listen to them, I'm like, wow, you know, I should do a podcast. I have 28 years of content, stories, and education to share with, a, with an audience. So I'm going to make a podcast. So I started in January researching how to do it, studying and getting it all together. And I launched it on iTunes last week, and it's called Master Your Lens. Awesome. Um, I'm excited about it because I can share with an audience um, about the joy of photography and share lessons, tell stories, and hopefully inspire people to really um, own their photography in a new way. Fantastic. That's great. Thank you so much for 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 telling us a little bit about the the podcast it's called master your lens and i'll have a link to it as well Thank under, you. The, under this post um anything else you'd like to add for my audience to know about your new book uh, or the new book upgrade as, as i like to see it and call it uh certainly it's a book that you've worked on for the last three years but it's getting a little bit of a push out there so that uh, families around the country can actually uh personalize it make it make it their own you know so. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what's really cool about this Kickstarter, we have an additional bonus. We have a game that we've attached to this Kickstarter. And what's special about this game is you play the game actually online as the Kickstarter is going. So we've been playing the game now for 17 to actually, this is the 18th day. So and it's, it's not so much a game as it is a story question series because each day, we've created a fictitious family that goes on a road trip around America. And each day of the Kickstarter campaign, we post one story from that family's travel around the country. And they've now gone through half the country in, the, in this time. So I post the story and I show real life pictures from my travels around the country. And today is really cool because today the family has gone through a tornado. <laughs> wow in Oklahoma and uh, there's a story that goes with the, st with the whole experience of this and then you see in the story real life pictures of the aftermath of that tornado because I got to Oklahoma the day after the biggest tornado in history so throughout the story you have images throughout everything from the travels around and it's mixed in with stories so it's kind of cool and it's educational because at the end of each story there's a question so kids can read the story, and then answer the question, and hopefully learn about America, learn about our past presidents, and learn about great places to eat in the country as well. Awesome, awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Matthew. Really, it's, it's a pleasure to have you back on, the sh on this show to talk about your book projects and uh, personal pleasures. And I'm looking forward to your next one, which we, we talked about before we started recording. I won't give it away yet, but um, there's a huge hint uh, to whoever <laughs> wants to see it, it's in the frame, I guess. Um, That's, I like that. Yes, I, it is. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Mm -hmm.